So what's going on everyone, Design Coma here, welcome back, and the gameplay you're watching is me playing some Black Ops 3. So what's up for today's video? Well, we're going to talk about some more Pokemon Go. No, we're not going to talk about people finding dead bodies, although I did find another article about a man who did find a dead body, but we're not going to talk about that. What I'm going to talk about is this guy, Tom Curry, 24, he's, he's getting uh, some pretty good news coverage over this. He has quit his job to be a professional Pokemon hunter. He wants to spend two months traveling around New Zealand he's from New Zealand so he wants to travel around New Zealand to capture all the Pokemon released for the game so this is what he's done he has quit his job he goes out whether it's raining whether it's hailing out or whether it's snowing out he basically heads out with his backpack his lunch and everything and goes out and hunts Pokemon uh, he's 24 years old uh, I already mentioned that he's 24 years old he quit his job in Auckland and he is now traveling around New Zealand he has booked 20 bus trips so far and he has visited six South Island towns. He's caught uh, Pokemon at every stop and so far he's captured 90 of the 151 Pokemon released on the game. That's, that's pretty amazing. It's, it, it's not bad. It's, it's pretty impressive. He goes on to say that he's having a lot of fun. Uh, one of the funniest things that he did quote here, one of his quotes is, he wanted to have an adventure, which is cool. You know, Everybody wants to have an adventure and he's living one. <laughs> but the funny part of this is he says he's been working for six years and he was desperate for a break So maybe I find that a little bit funny just because of my age oh, and the number of years I've been working since I since I started working and six years I guess to me is is really nothing But I, I guess uh, everybody is different and everybody does need a break at some point I could use a break every day to be honest with you It's, it's just one of those things where yeah, I could just use a break every day for my job But we're not gonna we're, we're not really gonna get into my job and we're not gonna talk about my job because it's it's just a little crazy like it was today. One of his favorite spots was in Sumner Christ Church, which is basically, it's become a hot spot for Pokemon hunters. Uh, there were about 100 people there hunting. And he goes on to say that some of these people would usually be shut up at home, uh, you know, in their houses, really reclusive. And hunting Pokemon has brought people out, which is true. I mean, there has been a lot of people wandering around doing this Pokemon Go game. Another article I came across has to do with a Holocaust museum. And these guys, these guys are basically upset. Well, not basically. They're upset because they don't want people coming into the museum looking for Pokemon or playing the game in the museum. And you know, this game will have a Pokemon just about anywhere and everywhere. So these, the, the people at the museum, they're, they're just really not comfortable with it. They, they feel that it's not appropriate for the museum because, you know, the museum does uh, uh, have exhibits showing the atrocities of the Nazi era and how million, millions of innocent men and women and children were murdered during, during the, uh, the Nazi reign. So they're a little uncomfortable with it. They really don't want the game to be involved so they're trying to get the game you know the museum taken out of the game basically to where there won't be any Pokemon spawning there or anything like that but the thing that I find interesting is that one of the things that they say is people are playing Pokemon Go within the museum while wandering around it its exhibits now i have to think about this for a minute i kind of understand where these guys are coming from as far as the people who run the museum but at the same time i'm thinking you know how many of those kids would have actually come in there aside from maybe a, a school field trip or something like that would actually have come in to the holocaust museum in washington dc wander around the exhibits and you know they're seeing the exhibits and you know they're taking the exhibits in a little bit i know they're in there playing the game but at the same time it's kind of a win almost a win-win situation i don't really like to say win-win because there never really is a win-win i feel like it's kind of a good thing they're not really comfortable with it so they're really trying to uh you know get get the museum pulled out of the uh out of the game so that way they're not not spawning in there but maybe it's just me i think it's a good thing because hey you've got people coming into the museum and museums need people coming into them so so i don't know i'll have a link in the description for both of these articles that you guys can go take a look at and read so i'm really finding a lot of the news coming out interesting with pokemon go even though there are some bad things that are happening accidents and, and things like that and people finding dead bodies which is just well that is just freaky to me to be honest with you i couldn't imagine just walking up on a dead body somewhere so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give it a like favorite subscribe and i will catch you in the next one friendly care package incoming